North Korea and President Trump's comments this morning saying there will be consequences for the country's bad behavior. ABC's Martha Raddatz is in Washington with more on that. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Amy. President Trump has had very strong words for North Korea, saying after his election that he would not allow North Korea to get a nuclear weapon capable of reaching the U.S. But today in Poland, he said he doesn't have a red line. As far as North Korea is concerned, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't like to talk about what I have planned, but I have some pretty severe things that we're thinking about. That doesn't mean we're going to do them. I don't draw red lines. But I think we'll just take a look at uh, what happens over the coming weeks and months with respect to North Korea. It's a shame that they're behaving this way, but they are behaving in a very, very dangerous manner and something will have to be done about it. So you have there a promise, in effect, that something will have to be done, but it doesn't sound like the president will respond immediately, even after that test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile that could potentially reach the United States, Amy. But, but there was a response, Martha, at the U.N. Security Council, which was an emergency session yesterday. We heard from Ambassador Nikki Haley. Uh, we sure did. Ambassador Haley said, without question, the U.S. is prepared to do whatever it takes to defend ourselves, including the military, although she said the U.S. prefers not to go that route and essentially pleaded with the world community, especially China, to pressure North Korea diplomatically, economically, but did say that a possibility of a diplomatic solution is quickly closing off, Amy. All right, Martha Raddatz, thank you.